Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Shiba Inu, we are trading at 0.00001302. 24 hour volume, we are up 4.35% and market cap, we are up 6.90%. So heading over to our daily chart. Yes, there is a spike for SHIB today. We are in the positive. However, if we take a look at this area of resistance where the candlestick wick at the very top here, if we follow this onto the left-hand side, we can see that this area was a tested area of resistance until the price fell. So just be very cautious going into today. If you are trading SHIB, yes, we do see a positive gain here, but so far for taking a look at the volume, volume has been decreasing with our OBV decreasing too. So it is giving us a signal that the price itself is decreasing. Now, again, when we pair it up with the RSI, we can see our K line, which is this blue line here is continuing continuing to drop, but not only that, pairing it off with our MACD indicator that measures momentum here, we can see that we've got two histograms already in the red and it is continuing to grow. So the momentum for this bear run is not matching the increase of the volume. So it could possibly be a trap here and we may see SHIB fall fairly quickly here. Now, as we can see with our volume profile, which are these nodes off to the side here, these are clusters where we find supply and demand. So here's the most important supply and demand zones that generated a lot of trades at this dollar amount from 1197 to 1254. If the price for SHIB does drop below here, it is going to be a test of the 1197 to hold on to support. We see that the profile is essentially a profile D shape, which means that when the price is, you know, with the buyers, it spikes really, really high. So higher volatility means higher the risk, especially around this point where we know is a known resistance sign. So as we can see with the MACD indicator paired up with the price action, we're seeing very discrepancies between the both. So I am going to be predicting here that we are going to be following a fall through or fall or drop here for SHIB, retesting the 1197 and ultimately coming down to the 1147 of our FIB chart at 50% here. Um, quickly taking a look at the four hour time frame for our time frame, we do see um, lightness of the MACD indicator, but it could be a temporary um, momentum shift because we can see dark red colors here, but most importantly, how big these two bars in comparison of the size are. So going to switch that over to the four hour time frame. We may see a close above the four hour time frame, um, a close above of our candlesticks beyond this resistance line. And if we do see that continuous four hour candlestick patterns close above the resistance line here, then in our daily chart, we may see that breakthrough of the resistance line, but that's only if we're able to close above multiple candlesticks above our resistance line. But that is my quick video here for Shiba Inu. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Like, subscribe, or comment down below. But I will see you next time. Bye.